Hello and welcome back to Otta Style Minute where I'm answering your biggest style frustrations. And this week I received an email from Rebecca who says, I love accessories, but it always seems like I have to go through hours of trial and error figuring out how to wear them with my outfit. Do you have any tips on best length necklaces, statement necklaces, what about earrings? How do I make it work so it's a little bit more effortless? Okay, perfect question. And as an accessory designer, Rebecca, you've come to the right person to answer this question. Okay, I've got eight tips of how to accessorize that will minimize the time of trial and error. But I did wanna say that trial and error is not a bad thing. Even as designers, when we're designing, we have something up on a mannequin, we're taking a peek, we're looking to see how it's balancing and how the colors are working. So it's not a bad thing to try things on and see how they work. But absolutely, we could minimize the time. And there are some tips that I can share with you that will help. The first tip that I wanted to share with you is to keep the accessories within the same theme. In other words, if you have a little bit more of a boho outfit going on, or let's say a very classic or maybe more artistic, urban, then stick to the theme. So in other words, if you have a more boho outfit, then you'll have more boho accessories. Or if you have something a little bit more urban, then those accessories, you are not going to bring in more of the boho accessories. Of course, rules you can break, but this is just a, an easy way to kind of think of accessorizing. So stick with a common theme. Next, you want to consider your canvas. In other words, your outfit. So if you have a lot going on in your outfit, you've got maybe ruffles or you've got certain print, or maybe there's lots of cuts on your top, then you want to minimize the accessories so that your top or whatever clothing you have on is what's making the statement and the accessories are not competing. Also, in terms of balancing your outfit, let's say you have more of an empty canvas, like a very simple color palette, white top and jeans. Here, it's almost asking for an accessory, asking for a pair of earrings or asking for a necklace. In fact, you might wanna check out my flowers outfit formula video on all of the different outfit formulas that you can put together. And I'm sure that will also help you with accessorizing and knowing how accessories fit into your outfit. Okay, so once you know that yes, this outfit needs accessories or no, this outfit maybe doesn't need an accessory, you want to create a balance with weight. So if your outfit is very like airy and light, then bring in light and airy accessories. But if you're using kind of a little bit more of a thicker, heavier fabric, it's okay to have a bolder, heavier piece. Or if you have a very kind of light and breezy outfit, but then you bring in like a very heavy, bold piece of jewelry, it might throw off the balance. Next, you might be wondering about length of necklaces or length of earrings. Well, it all depends on where you want to draw the attention. So if, for example, I want to draw attention to my arms, then I will wear arm candy, such as a bracelet. But I'm keeping the earrings pretty simple because this isn't necessarily where I wanna draw the attention. I wanna draw the attention to my shoulders and maybe to my arms. And if I had a necklace, I think it would just be too much with this particular cut and this outfit. What do you think? In terms of length of necklaces, if you're somebody that's a little bit more busty and you don't want to attract attention to your bust, then you want to keep the necklace either above your bust or below your bust and elongate your body type. But if you put the necklace like right on your boobs, that's where the eye's gonna go. So maybe that's your thing. Although I'm wearing kind of a turtleneck right now, if I did open up this area, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to completely fill it in. Wearing something gentle and dainty is also beautiful, so the light kind of goes back up into your face. One little tip about dressing for your body shape, in fact, I have a great download if you don't have it already on dressing for your body shape and all the clothes that go for your body shape. But one thing with accessories and body shape, you don't necessarily have to have accessories for your body shape, it's more about the outfit, but there are certain accessories such as like a long necklace. So if you're tall and very square body type, a long necklace is going to make you look even taller and maybe that's not what you want. But if you're more on the petite side, a long necklace will actually make you look 
longer. So it's also kind of a little bit of a trial and error. You do have to try it on to see how it looks and how it feels on you. Next tip is to ditch the matchy matchy. Well, not really. I mean, if you love it, fine, go for it. But what's cool is to be able to create a balance. If you have a bolder necklace, go with a simple earring. If you have bold earrings, go with a simple necklace or something a little bit more gentle to create that balance. So for example, I'm wearing bracelets and this is where I'm drawing the attention. And so my earrings are simple. If I were to put my hair up and I wanted to bring in these earrings here, these little leather balls, then maybe it will compete a little bit too much with my arm candy here and with my shirt. It's like very, very matchy matchy. It might come off, it's too much. So when in doubt, keep it simple. Although here you can see that I've created a statement, not so simple statement, but statement here, focusing on my bracelets. But again, this is where the focus goes. Everything else is more simple. Tip number seven is pick out new pieces to wear every season. In other words, I'm sure many of us have a jewelry box and a ton of jewelry in there that we haven't even looked at or touched in the last five years. Who's guilty of that? Okay, well, me too. And so what I started to do is I actually create a capsule collection around my jewelry. In other words, I pick out pieces that I haven't seen in a long time and I try to incorporate them into my wardrobe. Pieces that tell an interesting story, maybe pieces that share my message, Again, my story showing on the outside, my personality on the inside. And the last tip is be intentional with your jewelry. I know it's fun to kind of wear a random necklace or earrings, but if it has some sentimental value, maybe it makes you think of a special someone or a special place, or you got it in a special place, then it makes the story even stronger. And it's a great conversational piece where somebody walks up to you at a cocktail party and compliments you're, you're on a Zoom call and you're wearing some fantastic earrings. It makes a nice conversational piece to kind of break the ice. And as you can see, some of these tips require a little bit of trial and error, but I hope that they'll minimize the amount of trial and error that it will take in order to put together an amazing outfit. And last but not least, bonus tip, a belt is an amazing accessory because not only does it pull together an outfit, it also helps you create a waist. Bonus. If you're interested in an auto collection belt, I will leave links for you down below to the top selling classic wrap belt. I hope that you found these accessory tips helpful and valuable. I would love to hear your biggest takeaway in the comments below or any questions that you might have, or maybe some great accessory tips that you've heard elsewhere and that you can share with our community. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already following me here, please do so and DM me or email me with any of your questions. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on Auto Style Minute.